horses, okay? And a lot of horses that spook, spook because they don't have a firm leader. And you're probably thinking, how can having a firm leader have to do with spooking? Well, think about, like most of my viewers and most people involved in horses are women. Imagine you are a married woman of, say, 30 years old. And you have a husband and a five-year-old son. Okay? And they both have the same name. Let's say it's Arthur. Okay? You have big Arthur and you have little Arthur. So they both have the same last name, they both have the same first name. You're at home one night with, and big Arthur's there, and some drunk guy, crazy guy comes, starts banging on the windows or knocking on the front door or whatever. But you're there with big Arthur, so you don't, you know, you're a little concerned, but you're not near as concerned because big Arthur's there and he can handle himself. Big Arthur looks after you. And so you don't feel as worried. Now let's say you're in exactly the same house with another human being, but this time it's little Arthur. So same name, it's another human, you're in the same, exactly the same situation two weeks later and a drunk guy starts knocking on the windows. You are petrified because you have to be in control of the situation. Big Arthur's not there to look after you. There's an Arthur there, but he's not in charge. You're in charge. Does that make sense? So it's the same thing with these horses. A lot of times these horses that spook a lot and stuff, especially, you know, like ones like this, is because they think they're the leader of this whole thing and oh my god the world's out to get me because I don't have someone, I don't have a big brother sort of thing to look after me. Does that make sense? It's the same thing in a herd situation like out in the wild like in Australia say with the Brumbies. If there's a danger coming those horses don't just all scatter and run in different directions. They all mill around and wait for the leader and a lot of times it's not necessarily the stay and it's a lot of times it's the the lead mare but she will circle around and say okay everybody we're gonna go this way and then off they go. So instead of them being totally petrified and just doing all silly stuff, they kind of like, okay, I'm going to have to do something, but we're going to have to go somewhere, but I'm not just petrified. I'm, we've got a leader, someone's going to look after us, I just need to know where to go to. And that, and the same thing with these kind of horses, it will have a huge difference on the spooking. Most times, like doing clinics and stuff, I'll see a lot of horses.